Hi, it's Dwyer. Keeping it free. Blogspot. Com. Uh, Richard Dwyer. Com. I'm an attorney in Northern California. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. For more than a year now, I've been here online, occasionally making videos on cryptocurrency, which I consider to be one of the biggest technological advancements of my life. It's also a huge investment opportunity. This reminds me of the birth of the personal computer, the proliferation of the internet. Uh, both of those moments provided huge opportunities. What's important for investors to consider given this big event, the uh, determination of whether Bitcoin is going to accept segregated witness, right? That's going to happen August 1st in literally less than two weeks, right? But what I want people to do is to focus on the utility of cryptocurrency, the cryptoverse, blockchain technology. Just understand that it's here to stay because of its utility, because it solves a problem. Understand that with blockchain technology, you, one, have a lowering of transaction costs. In other words, I can send money to China or Africa much more cheaply using this technology than current traditional methods, right? Number two, for investors looking for hedges, and isn't that the purpose of hedge funds? It's a hedge against the actions of central bankers. What I want you to do is to look around the globe, look at the EU, look at the debt levels, look at the United States, look at the debt levels, right? With cryptocurrency, which currently central banks don't control. Understand, central bankers are part of a centralized financial system. Cryptocurrency is decentralized. Right? Understand that central bankers here, for all of their good or very bad decision making, don't control the supply of cryptocurrency. That's market based. Right? And so if you, like me, question the actions of a Janet Yellen, question the ability of these financial elites in the centralized financial world to regulate the economy, if you believe more in the market standard than the PhD standard, then cryptocurrency gives you an opportunity to hedge your financial bets, right? You have some money in the system that people like Janet Yellen are overseeing. You can have some money outside of Janet Yellen's purview. If you're concerned about her decision-making or the decision-making of Ben Bernanke or quite frankly, any Fed chairman, cryptocurrency is a valuable hedge. Also, Another big reason for cryptocurrency is the fact that it circumvents the ongoing price manipulation of the precious metals markets, right? I frankly don't know how silver is as cheap today as it is. I suspect that in the centralized financial markets, right, the price of gold and silver are being heavily manipulated by the use of paper gold and paper silver, right? With cryptocurrency, because it's decentralized and because the marketplace has a number of cryptocurrencies, it's much harder to control. It's much harder to manipulate. Right? People can actually keep track of the degree of 
concentration of the various cryptocurrencies. Right? The culture in the crypto sphere is such that there is a distrust of concentration. The very opposite of what's happening in traditional concentrated markets. Right? The very opposite of that. So if you're someone who favors decentralization on a level that really prevents the kind of manipulation you're seeing in gold and silver, which really are barometers for the success of the centralized system. Understand, you can't have all of these fiat currencies rapidly inflating, even if that's their free market price versus gold and silver, because then the casual voter who has to buy into those centralized systems would realize that the centralized bankers and politicians don't know what they're doing. So there seems to be a systemic effort to control the price of gold and silver to get you, the voter, to believe in the centralized system of financial governance. In the cryptosphere, the decentralized world, there's actual price discovery. Right? If you question whether gold and silver are currently trading at their market prices, free market prices, then a cryptocurrency that is might look attractive to you. Well, right now, July the 18th, 2017, you have one of those rare investment opportunities that don't come around that often. More than 40% of the mining pools have already expressed support for Bitcoin's adoption of segregated witness, which would increase Bitcoin's block size and its network capacity for handling transactions. Right? More information could go into a Bitcoin transaction, which could be done much more quickly than under the current one megabyte block size regime. It looks to me like segregated weakness is going to pass. Understand the uncertainty about whether it's going to pass led to a huge market decline across the entire cryptosphere. Right? Well, understand just from a risk-reward perspective, at a time when even Goldman Sachs is getting important patents on parts of the cryptosphere. In other words, traditional players realize the value of the blockchain, realize that it's here to stay to the point where they're actually doing the research and development necessary to create patents that are actually granted by the United States government. Right at this time, you have a situation where if you're in Bitcoin and the uncertainty regarded segregated witness is resolved as it will be within the next few days, folks, you could be looking at significant upside. Significant. Why? Because the technology has a utility. The technology, simply put, is here to stay. And as I make this video, understand that the market cap of all cryptocurrencies is less than $100 billion. In other words, it's less, far less, than the market cap of individual stocks like Amazon. Could you imagine a situation where the monetary supply was less than the market cap of one of the companies on the S&P 500? But yet, that's the status quo right now in the crypto sphere. And understand, depending on the cryptocurrency, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's Litecoin, whether it's Dash, my personal favorite, Understand you have several cryptocurrencies 
that have built-in deflation long term because there are limits that have been placed on their supply. In other words, even if the crypto sphere got corrupted like current centralized finance, even if there was pressure on a central banker, a Fed chairman, to grossly inflate the monetary supply, they wouldn't be able to because of the hard limit to the monetary supply programmed into the individual cryptocurrencies. So just to understand the risk reward, if Bitcoin goes towards segregated weakness and you have Bitcoin going into that decision. You'd be the owner of groundbreaking technology that's literally in its nascent early stage of adoption by the general public. Right? You would have a share of a cryptocurrency for which there's only going to be a limited supply ever minted long term. The upside, needless to say, is huge. Now, if segregated weakness doesn't pass, right, and there's some opposition to it, well, if the currency forks, guess what? You actually have an ownership share of both of the forks. You understand that? your investment doesn't go to zero, you would still own a groundbreaking, breathtaking technology. Let's go one step further. Bitcoin's not the only player in the crypto sphere. If you believe that there's even a possibility that segregated weakness won't pass in the next two weeks, right? even though it's already halfway there to the 80%, uh, needed to pass, right? You have the option of investing in Bitcoin's competitors, don't you? Ethereum, Monero, Zcash, Dash, Litecoin, right? So even if the news is bad in terms of a fork in Bitcoin, you can actually benefit. So for savvy investors looking for opportunities to invest in breathtaking technology with great utility at a time when, quite frankly, the pre-existing status quo does not look sustainable, right? Let's face it. The debt levels the central bankers have engineered are going to take us generations to get out of if we're able to get out of these debt burdens. Right? If you believe that cryptocurrency, a more market-based solution, solves a lot of these problems and doesn't carry the debt level of the current status quo, then dare I say, now is the time to make a move that will enable you to profit once the Bitcoin segregated witness issue is resolved, which is going to happen, folks, in the next two weeks. Right? So give the cryptosphere a hard look. Just understand, even traditional banks now understand that this technology is so superior, it's such an advancement on the current status quo that traditional banking outfits are figuring out ways to use blockchain technology through the use of things like Ripple, Google that cryptocurrency. Right? So this is an opportunity to invest in really a technological advancement that, 
quite frankly, is changing the interaction of consumers with their counterparties. Anyway, I hope you consider giving cryptocurrency a very hard look in the next few days because trust me there's going to be a huge price swing in just over two weeks it's going to be such that right many are going to be wondering how they let this opportunity pass them by I hope you give it a look I hope you leave your comments on cryptocurrency in general, on the segregated weakness debate that's ongoing, on the future of Bitcoin, on the future of your preferred cryptocurrency, whatever that is, in the comment section of this video. But make no mistake, in human existence, there have been a few monumental steps forward, right? The invention of the wheel. In my lifetime, I can tell you that there have been moments where a lot of fortunes have been made, where a technology has come along and people at first doubted it. And now, of course, it's indispensable to our existence, right? I believe Steve Ballmer, the Microsoft exec, former Microsoft exec, talked about discussing the PC with a member of his family who told him, why would anyone want a PC? Right? Just consider the possibility that cryptocurrency might be one such advancement. If you believe it is, look at the full market cap of less than a hundred billion dollars right now and realize that you're just in the top half of the first inning of cryptocurrencies acceptance and use right just food for thought let me hear from you i look forward to your comments thanks for stopping by